The first ever Blade Show West is finally here. The world's number one knife publication, Blade Magazine, is bringing the Northwest premier knife event to Portland's Oregon Convention Center. Friday through Sunday, October 5th through the 7th, shop from over 225 exhibitors, offering deals on custom, antique, and factory knives and accessories that you won't find anywhere else. Portland is the knife capital of the USA. Come see why. Get your tickets now at bladeshowwest.com. How's it going, Bladesters? Only a few days away till Blade Show West, and I'm getting set up with all the loadout for the gear that I'm taking with me. Uh, so these are the things that I picked up along the way uh, to give you guys the best opportunity to experience Blade Show when you can't be at Blade Show. Uh, so these are all the things that are picking up. So if you do see me with the hat and you want to be on video, you want to do an interview, uh, see me uh, when I'm not talking to a vendor, of course. Uh, and then uh, we can do a little interview. Um, so it would be good to get uh, some before the show, some in the middle of the show, uh, so just so you can get a little idea of you know, what people's opinions are uh, during that time frame. So if you want to do that, let me know on that. And there's my dog again. Uh, so no, no. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do with that uh, is uh, talk about uh, some of the things that I picked up. Uh, so I'm going to try out uh, this affiliate link program for Amazon. Uh, so links down below. If you want to pick up any of these items, if you have any use for these items, uh, then check it out as far as what I did pick up. And also, if you would like to, you can use the link and do whatever shopping you would like to do. And I hear that you I can get credit for that. Again, first time doing the Amazon affiliate links. Um, so that's what I'm told or knew about on them. And so here we go. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Osmo Mobile 2. Oh, and that mic is live down there, so sorry if that was a little louder. Uh, but we do have the Osmo 2. When it actually goes live, it, it is upright and it is very sturdy. Uh, and then we do have the, uh, the little tripod and also the handle mount. Also where the, uh, the shotgun mic will mount to it. Uh, so that's going to be a place for that. And then we do also have uh, the Boya mics. Uh, so I have currently uh, the, the lavalier mic. Uh, so there's two microphones for that. Uh, one that's on me and then one that's going to be on the interview E. Uh, that's going to be, that's that one down there. So that one's the Boya, um, that model number is uh, the BY-M1DM. That's a dual lavalier mic. And then that is going to be one that I'll be using. I'm going to try out also the the boom mic. But I was having a little issue with a um, little bit of static on this one uh, when I was moving around. So this might be a stationary type of mic just to get the ambiance and the uh, feel of the room uh, in a stable position. Uh, so that one uh, is probably not going to be uh, very mobile uh, for that. I also do have a monopod. Uh, so this is... Just something I'm going to probably use when I'm interviewing folks, uh, just so I can set that up and actually have it um, stable in one of the directions, and then so I don't need to hold uh, the gimbal system up uh, all the time. Uh, but that is an easy one. It has a single strap that goes over my shoulder. Uh, it's going to be simple to carry around on that. And then the one of the biggest uh, hurdles that I was trying to get over is a matter of power. Uh, so for the day, I'm going to be using my uh, LG V20 old phone. Uh, granted, I understand that, uh, but it does have a really good audio setup. Uh, it is one of the ones with a, a quad DAC uh, processor for audio. That's so when you're actually listening back on music, it can power some of the higher, um, higher um, impedance headphones. So a little bit better for that, uh, but power is the main issue for that. Uh, so one thing that I had for that, I did pick up this anchor. Uh, this is a 20,000 uh, 20, PD. Uh, so I got that. And then uh, surprisingly, you can get the power adapter, uh, but it doesn't give you a way to charge your power adapter. Um, so just for size comparisons, uh, there's the uh, RAT2. So that's how big that is. So you can pick up the, the power adapter. Now some of them come with a little power brick, some do not. Uh, this one requires a 30 watt power brick. So I bought that 
and then I went to test it, see how it worked, see if it would, I could hook it up to the gimbal system, and then it's a little big, uh, so I was like, okay, well, that's not going to really work too well, uh, so that's going to be emergency backup, and then I did pick up the little power brick, uh, so there's also through Amazon, I got this one for, uh, I think, $15 or $10, something around there, uh, but it'll be in the link as well, and so this goes to that to actually charge it because you hook it up to the regular cell phone charger which is maybe like three three to five watts uh, this is 30 watts uh, to be able to charge that unit up uh, so i have that and then i um the one thing good thing about the lgb20 is you can still chain out the battery uh, so i got some uh, three battery packs uh, an external battery charger and more memory. Uh, so I got uh, two of these uh, for the Samsungs. Uh, there's a 64 gigabytes. Uh, these are like about $15. Uh, so hopefully that's gonna be enough memory and battery to be able to uh, show you guys in Blade Show, uh, show you what's going on and with that as well. I did put together my list of vendors that I'm looking to take a look at. Uh, there's gonna be, I have right now a list of 40, 45. Uh, so this is my list. So I put this all together uh, with the questions I'm going to ask uh, to kind of uh, move the interview along. And then uh, I'll reach out to those vendors, hopefully, to get um, them to be able to speak to me on it. I will be having the uh, media pass or the badge for it. So hopefully that gives a little bit um, more uh, legitimacy to it. Uh, so they'll be able to more freely talk to me about things. But we'll see how that goes. This is the first time through. Uh, so a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to uh, take into account. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, do like, share, subscribe, uh, because this is all the things that I'm doing for you guys to be able to experience a show. Um, I don't have a, a big uh, amount of money that I'm going to be buying anything. I'm probably not going to buy anything, so I might make a list of my, uh, my wish list as far as what I would like to get. Uh, but at Blade Show, I'm going to be uh, checking things out, doing videos, uh, handling knives that I would not handle normally, and then I'll leave with all my stuff and no knives, most likely. Uh, so uh, do let me know in the comments down below as far as uh, things that you want to see, uh, but that's going to be the general format. Uh, so we're going to have interviews with people, so if you want to be interviewed, hit me up. There's the hat. Uh, there's only 11 people with those patches, and one person that I know is going to the event. Uh, so very rare that somebody made a, a patch and put it on that hat for the event. So it's most likely going to be me. So check it out for that. So interviews with people, uh, interviews with vendors, uh, just general overview of the event. Uh, so those are the things that I'm looking at to do. Uh, so that will be Blade Show West 2018 uh, for all of you folks. So you should have good stable video, should have good audio. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks for your time. Let me know what you think.